Developing the back to the maximum is an absolute necessity if you intend to have a massive upper body because that's where the largest muscles of the upper body, the lats and the traps are. Your back makes up almost one third of the entire body. So needless to say, bodybuilders who ignore their back or have never trained it properly are no different from those who neglect their legs. They just never get the whole package together, making maximum mass building and proper symmetry and proportions impossible. This is something Arnold spoke about when he explained exactly how he built his Olympia back. Something that he also noted was that when people would talk about his massive chest measurement, his back was actually responsible for half that number. And since the chest and the back are so much involved in developing the upper body, it's why he often trained them together with supersets. In this video today, we're gonna to talk about all of Arnold's tips and techniques he used to build his championship back. And then we're gonna go over some sample programs. So starting with tip number one from Arnold, he first notes that for full back development, you need to focus on both width and thickness. Generally, this means width from wider lats and thickness from the traps, rhomboids, and middle back and the lumbar. However, one point that Arnold made that goes beyond this basic idea is that the back is such a complicated muscle group that the lats, even though considered a body part that adds width to your physique, also need to be trained for thickness as they have different insertions, including the outer lats for width and inner lats for middle back thickness. So it's not always as cut and dry as pull downs for width and rows for thickness like some people preach. A great example of this is an exercise like dumbbell rows. Being primarily a middle and upper back movement with standard form, changes in technique, position, and body angles can all be made to make this movement work an entirely different part of the back. For example, keeping the body more upright, going for a deep stretch, and pulling the dumbbells back and away from the body can turn this movement into more of a lower lat thickness movement rather than a traditional upper back row. Depending on your own physique development and needs, exercise selection and technique should always be catered to your goals. The second tip is to learn mind-muscle connection. Now, most bodybuilders with poor back development claim they normally can't feel their lats working. The main reason for this is they train more like weightlifters and focus on moving the weights from A to B. While this develops strength, it also allows muscles like biceps and shoulders to take over, focusing on full range of motion and a full stretch and contraction, and then later worrying about weight is something I always recommend, especially for back training. If you're constantly trying to add weight to a movement that has poor lat activation, you're not getting any additional benefit by going heavier. Build that mind and muscle connection first, and then as you get stronger, you can start to progressively overload. Third tip from Arnold on back training was to use his favorite lat movement of all time, the wide grip chins. Now Arnold's mentioned this various times before, that depending on the muscle he's targeting, chins can be done with various grips and positions. But for pure lat development, the best one of them all is wide grip chins done to the neck. So as I've mentioned before in other videos, this is basically a pull up to the clavicle and it's by far the best way to do chins for back width. To do this movement, you're basically pulling yourself up over the bar right to the clavicle. This keeps the torso upright and fully contracts the lats at the last part of the range of motion. The problem most people have with pull-ups is that many people turn it into an upper back or trap movement by letting the torso get away from the bar and rounding your back. To get the most out of your lat training on pull-ups, you wanna go with a wide grip and a full stretch at the bottom pulling all the way up to the clavicle for a full contraction of the lats. Arnold's tip number four for full back development is the lower back must be trained directly. Many people feel that if they do pull downs and rows and then train the legs, there'll be enough stimulation for the lower back. However, since the lumbar is such a large and strong muscle, it can handle much heavier loads than what you would normally expose it to on something like rows. Arnold recommends to directly train your lower back with a deadlift variation. This means conventional or even stiff legs or Romanian deadlifts. He also recommends you incorporate more isolation movements for the lower back like hyperextensions, specifically because they're less taxing and they can be trained more frequently. Now, contrary to all that high volume that Arnold is known for recommending, he does note that since the lower back has worked in so many different movements, even on things like overhead pressing, squats, rows, the direct lower back work can and should be limited to even as little as two to three sets. And then finally, putting all this together for a full back routine, Arnold recommends a basic setup for beginners and a setup for intermediates. First, for the beginners, we have wide grip chins for three sets of as many reps as possible, bent over rows for three sets of 10, eight, and six, and then finishing off with deadlifts for three sets of 10, eight, and six. This is a very basic setup, and one that I think for the beginner is absolutely a solid foundation for back training. 
Three sets of chins, doing as many as you can. I'd first recommend trying to progressively add reps until you could do 20 full range of motion body weight chin ups. And then you can slowly start adding weight to them. For bent over rows, three sets done with a slight pyramid is not a bad setup at all. Then finally finishing with three sets of deadlifts done for 10, eight, and six. Now this is definitely an old school training setup. It's a bodybuilding method that many people have used and had success with. However, in my opinion, and something that I've mentioned previously in some other videos, I'm personally not a huge fan of going over five reps if we're talking about the conventional deadlifts, as the form breakdown for beginners can definitely set in with higher repetitions on this movement. So I'd personally recommend for beginners go to three sets of five repetitions on these. But if you also choose to do something like a stiff leg deadlift, which in my opinion is superior for bodybuilding, you can definitely keep the rep ranges higher on this movement. Now his recommendations for the intermediate is to add in some more volume and some more direct work for either back thickness or back width, depending on your body and your own goals. So we would take that original setup and now we would do four sets of each exercise, increasing the volume, but we'll also add either T-bar rows if back thickness is needed or lat pull downs or pullovers if more back width is needed. I personally think this is a great way to go about it as you don't want to increase volume more than your recovery abilities. And you also want to dedicate that additional volume to only the areas of your body you're trying to improve. Doing it this way allows you to bring up weak points and also keep recovery in check. By adding in only one movement, you could also monitor your volume tolerance over time, as well as your performance increases. Now, once you get to the advanced stages, even more strategic approaches need to be used. Overall, I'm personally a huge fan of this setup for back and I think anyone can use this with solid results. Now compared to some of his crazy high volume info that he's put out, I feel this setup can absolutely be used in both mass gaining and muscle retention during cuts. But let me know what you guys personally think of this back training setup in the comments down below. And if you wanna build muscle using old school bodybuilding training methods, check out my five day mass gain program in the description. Or if you wanna work with me directly, get your custom program below. All right, guys, that's it for the video. If you want to see more of the best original bodybuilding content just like this, make sure to hit subscribe.